I'll be your host for this journey. Now, we are going to start the game. Um, if you saw that preview, that was just a thing of things to come, I guess. So, yeah, let's go. Profile reconstruction complete. Name, Tara Shepard. Origin, colonist. Reputation, ruthless. Class, infiltrate. Let's go. Let's play. Mass Effect. Identification confirmed. Let's go. Well, what about Shepard? She grew up in the colonies. She knows how tough life can be out there. Her parents were killed when slavers attacked Mindwar. She got most of her unit killed on Torfin. She gets the job done, no matter what the cost. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling the furthest star. The basis for this. Oh shit, it was called Mass Effect. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across Ugh. the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. So we could, yep, yep, I got that. Do I agree? 
You're overreacting or cut the chatter. I'm kind of thinking of taking off the subtitles. Just because it's distracting. But I guess I'll keep them. I guess that's okay. Let's do... You're overreacting. You always expect the worst. Well, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so... What are we doing here? Joker! Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander... Does he not like him? ...the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Is he upset? I heard. I heard him, Joker. God. I'm on my way. <laughs> Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Uber. The mission computer accesses your journal map and other important screens. Flashing screens have new updates. Squad. Squad screen lets you view talents for each squad member. Press up or down on the D-pad to view general descriptions of a talent. Press left or right on the D-pad to view talent. Press A to spend points and gain ranks in the selected talent. Note, character level limits how many ranks you can... Each time you gain a level, you unlock another rank and gain more points to spend. Use the D-pad now. Your descriptions for your talents. So we could do pistols, tactical armor, electronics. What's infiltrator? Relying on stealth and reconnaissance, infiltrators prefer to take their enemies out from a distance. Increases damage done by tech mines, reduces overheating on sniper rifles and pistols. Reduces heat buildup on pistols and sniper rifles by 5%. Increases the tech mine explosion damage of a sabotage overload and damping by 5%. Yeah, let's do that. Tactical armor. Able to equip light armor. Increases damage reduction. Pistols increases accuracy. I mean, if if we survived that place, um, if we survived the the attack, yeah, I feel like we'll have a point in pistols. As well. Increases accuracy and damage with pistols. Grants the marksman ability. Increases damage by 5%, increases accuracy by 10. Let's do... Intimidate. Opens intimidate options in conversations. Increases credits gain when selling items in stores. Intimidate options in conversations will be grayed out if you do not have a high enough skill rank. Yeah, let's get intimidate. So we 
we got pistols, infiltrator, and intimidate. Journal, prologue, on the Normandy. You are Lieutenant Commander Shepard, executive officer on the SSB. Go speak to Captain Anderson in the comm room. And we have a codex. Let's do personal history summary. Background profile for Commander Shepard. You were raised on Mindor on the fringes of the Attican Traverse. When you were 16, the colony was raided by slavers. The entire settlement was raised and your friends and family were slaughtered. A passing alliance patrol rescued you, but all you loved would just... I mean, that, that would make anyone ruthless. You enlisted with the alliance military joining the long and bloody campaign to rid the Skillian verge of Batarian slavers. So I don't think we like Batarians. And other criminal elements. The final battle came when Alliance forces laid siege to Torfon, a slaver base built miles below the surface of a desolate moon. The superiority of the human fleet was wasted in the assault on the underground bunker. But you led a corpse of elite ground troops into the heart of the enemy. Nearly three quarters of your own squad perished in the vicious close quarters fighting, a cost you were willing to pay to make sure not a single slaver made it out of Torfon alive. We are badass. And then the next one we'll do will be aliens, council races. The equipment screen allows you to view, equip, and upgrade gear for each member of your squad. Press left or right on the D-pad to cycle between weapons, armor, and other base item types. Press up or down on the D-pad to view available models of each base item type displayed in the selected item pane. A switches an equipped item with the selected item. X allows you to install or switch. X allows you to install or switch upgrades with an Y dismantles a selected item, breaking it down into Omni Gel for later. The item is gone forever. So we have an assault rifle, a shotgun. Oh, yeah, look at that badass. Pistol, sniper rifle. Grenades, Omni Tool, Armor, Assault Rifle. So, Hana Kedar. Reliable and efficient Earth based Han Kedar has become a major supplier of the system. Their weapons are considered stock quality at best, though their armor lines are just above average. Assault rifles are the standard armament of most soldiers up between firepower, range, and accuracy. Shotgun. Shotguns have a slow rate of fire and high recoil, but can inflict massive damage to multiple targets at close. Pistols have low recoil and high accuracy use while moving. They are only effective at close range and inflict limited damage. And it's going to be our favorite weapon. Sniper rifles have long range and high accuracy, inflicting significant damage. However, they have a limited rate of fire and are virtually useless at close range. Grenades. Alliance grenades are metal discs capable of sticking to any flat surface. They can be triggered remotely after attaching to a target 
or would detonate automatically after. Um, if if you don't want to look at all all the equipment, just scroll on ahead to when we get to the stuff. Blue wire tool one, Omni tool, Aldrin Labs. Aldrin Labs is a human manufacturer based on the providing basic reliable equipment at an affordable cost. They're a primary supplier of armor, Omni tools, and bio amps to the Systems Alliance military. So that orange thing must be an Omni tool. Omni tools are multi purpose diagnostic used for a variety of battlefield tasks. Lightweight, comfortable armor affords basic protection from enemy attacks and minimizes movement penalties affecting weapon, weapon accuracy. Okay, first save of the game. Ugh, we are so badass. Let's talk to Joker. The captain's waiting for you in the comm room, Commander. The captain's waiting for you in the comm room, Commander. Um, also, I'm really sorry if you can't... Um, I, I will probably add in all the subtitles on my... Um, it, it's just bugging me. I hope it didn't ruin the intro sequence. Let's talk to Caden. You probably don't want to keep the captain waiting, Commander. You probably don't want to keep the captain waiting, Commander. Well, what if I do want to keep him waiting? Presley, you're gonna give yourself an ulcer. I mean, another reason why I don't think subtitles are good for... I mean, well, they're, they're good when you're playing. When you're playing an RPG. But if you're doing something like this... Then it, it just kind of ruins the immersion. Let's talk to Navigator Presley. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Um. I heard you arguing about something. Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. What are you talking about? You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. A Spectre? Turian Spectre? Turian Spectre. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. So that, they must probably be talking about like the first contact war or something. Oh no, yeah, the first contact war. That was long ago, plus he's a Spectre. I'm sorry, man, but it it was long ago. You you gotta get over your prejudices. That was thirty years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board, especially a Turian. We're an Alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. 
Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. So Spectres are different than normal people? Okay, so tell me about the captain. Do you have a problem with the captain? No, ma'am. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. So this Captain Anderson, he, he must be a really good person or something. And then you were saying something about how stealth systems are engaged? What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors, cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper, less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. A cover? What are you talking about? For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. I'll look into it. This is interesting. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. I grew up on Eden Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. Oh, you watch too many spy meets, Jenkins. Talk to Dr. Chuck West. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. The doctor's right. You gotta cool your jets a little bit. Only a fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Dude, you'll do fine. It's okay. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on Torfin. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. Hey. Be careful now. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not gonna screw this up. some type of grain on the oh I know what they did they put film grain on it so that way that it looked like a movie you said something about Eden Prime something about this being a regular shakedown you're from Eden Prime aren't you Jenkins what's it like it's very peaceful commander They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even paradise gets boring after a while. 
So he's from Eden Prime? So do you know why we're headed there? Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. People keep mentioning this Spectre. Tell me about the Spectres. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. That sounds dangerous. How do you control agents with unlimited power? I suppose the Council could revoke the Spectre status of an agent who got out of hand. At that point, Citadel Security Services would take over. Those CSEC grunts wouldn't stand a chance. The Spectres were 20 ordinary soldiers. The Spectres police themselves. An agent goes rogue, they send another agent to take him down. That's Spectre justice. The Corporal's confusing romantic legends with reality, Commander. <laughs> He must have been watching too much of those cop shows. Are there any human specters? Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Specters usually come from the council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good specter. What you did on Torfin, that's what they're looking for. Success at any cost, ruthless efficiency, show no mercy. <clears throat> Why don't we just talk about Nihilus? What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I hope we get a chance to see him in action. I heard Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Bye. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Let's do... Council races. Roughly 1,200 years ago, the Turians were invited to join the Citadel Council to fulfill the role of galactic peacekeepers. The Turians have the largest fleet in Citadel space, and they make up the single largest portion of the Council's military forces. As their territory and influence has spread, the Turians have come to rely on the Salarians for military intelligence and the Asari for diplomacy. Despite a somewhat colonial attitude towards the rest of the galaxy, the ruling hierarchy understands they would lose more than they would gain if the other two races were ever removed. Turians come from an autocratic society that values discipline and possesses a strong sense of personal and collective honor. There is lingering animosity between Turians and humans over the first contact war of 2157, which is known as the Relay 314 incident to the Turians. Officially, however, the two species are allies, and they enjoy civil, if cool, diplomatic relations. So Turians are basically... Well, we, we can read what they are. 
I feel like when when I select one, we're not really just gonna talk about it. We're just gonna view them, and then you can think on that what you will. However, let's save. Talk to Nihilus. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Talk? What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Why are you asking? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I have no idea what's going on. Although, that is a really good picture of me. What's going on? Is someone gonna fill me in, Captain? We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Why the secrecy, dude? There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Is there a reason we told this Council? Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The Beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Um, why? What did I do? Did I do something wrong? Am I in trouble? Okay, why? What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. I was impressed when I studied the reports from Torfin. A grim business, but you got the job done. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. A human specter? Why would you want to put my name forward? Why would a Turian want a human in the specters? Not all Turians resent humanity. 
Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Captain, what do you think? I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Wait, I have some questions. Tell me more about the beacon that you're so anxious to get your hands on. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Kind of wrong hand. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Terminus systems? What are those? The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Okay, what about the Protheans? You, you mentioned them? What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society, and without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. So they came before us. Okay, so then let's do a little debriefing on the mission that we're going to do. Tell me about Eden Prime. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. So in other words, it's it's how we'll it's how we'll get our mark on on the on the galactic political map. Go. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it What's up on going screen. on? Get down! Trouble. I repeat, heavy casualties! We can't! Get evac! They came out of nowhere! We need... What is that noise?
everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Yes, sir. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Bye. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. How do we know that we can trust this guy? I don't like putting my life in the hands of a Turian, sir. Nihilus is on our side. He wants you in the Spectres, and he wants that beacon. Okay, he can count on us. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. Ship perimeter secured, Commander. This place got hit hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. Keep your guard up. And I'm sorry to say, but this is where we have to end it. Give me a like. Subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.